Hey guys, it's Ashley, the Weekend Hero. And today we're in my wife's 2009 CRV. We're gonna do a little upgrade to it. And uh, I'm accompanied by my kids. Say hi guys. Hi. <laughs> um, so what we're doing today is I'm gonna put, I'm gonna wrap the steering wheel in uh, artificial leather. Uh, I found this product on Amazon and I think it's gonna help me with the problem I'm having. So you guys know that during the last year, uh, we've been very careful, you know, washing our hands, putting mask on. And one of the things we use is hand sanitizer. Now, hand sanitizer is amazing, but on the rubber on the, on the steering wheel, it destroys it. So let me explain what's going on. As you can see here, I'm gonna try to cover so you can focus. You see all that abrasion? That's from using hand sanitizer and my entire steering wheel here, especially on this area, looks like it, it was eaten up by this stuff. It's mostly visible Hello. on the shift knob here where you can see it's supposed to look, careful mama, it's supposed to look like this, but it looks like that, all eaten up. Let me see if I can focus. See, I, now I can't do anything about. about it. Mm -hmm. it. I can't do anything about this shift knob, but the product I found is supposed to help out with all this right here. Um, now the video is gonna be a bit jumpy. I already I bought two um, steering. Let's call it wraps. Steering wheel wraps. Um, I did my car a couple days back and it looks amazing so i'll just you know cut some clips of that in front of this video and uh, but right now we're gonna do this steering wheel now the product says you don't have to remove the steering wheel in order to do this but i find it way more comfortable to remove it um the steering wheel in order to apply the wrap all right so since we're gonna remove the steering wheel obviously the steering wheel has a uh airbag and i don't want that to go off when i'm removing it by mistake so we're gonna disconnect the battery um you want to try that you see this bolt right here? That's the one I want you to remove. So I'm just gonna cover this. Put your hand right there, yeah. Like that. Can you, how about this? I'm gonna do the first one. There you go. Now you can do that, go. I think that's enough. Okay, let's take this guy off. I'm gonna cover it. Drop it right there. All right, battery disconnected. All right, so we disconnected the battery. Um, now it's time to actually remove the steering wheel. Uh, so this is a Honda. I've done uh, steering wheels on Honda quite a bit now, so I know how this works. Um, there's two Torx bits on here. One, let me see if I can get it. Uh, through this hole right here. Hard for me to get. I can probably get on the other side. And then the other one through here. You can see that little torch pick right in there. So I'm getting that one, and there's one on the other side. Um, and but before that, there's a little compartment right here. And I have to disconnect the uh, airbag first in here. So there's probably going to be a ground and an airbag cable to disconnect. This is the airbag cable, and this right here, this black thing is the ground so to get it out i just i literally just slide the thing out gently pull this thing out like this put the cable out make sure you don't hurt anything there's a little clip you just pull the black little tab all the way to the back and it just pops off now these is just as easy as like wiggling it off. There's no magic. There's little push pins on either side. You just press one side and it pushes out. It's done. All right. With those two Torx bits out, or Torx screws out, and um, the two wires disconnected, you should be able just to easily just pop out the horn airbag combo you see right here there's the airbag these are the two wires you disconnected uh, put that aside very carefully now you're greeted to 
the last thing you have to take out to remove the steering wheel, which is this bolt right here. This happens to be a 14 millimeter for me. So the bolt can come off, but you don't want to put the bolt out completely out yet um, because I'm going to twist it on for a little bit, but keep it loose because I have to now take the wheel off and it's kind of jammed in there. So you want to make sure you just get enough lever and try to like pull this up again with a rubber mallet, try tapping it in different areas just to get it loose. You can tap it from the front. Just trying to remove it. There we go. So, wheels out. So now I can remove 14 mil bolt. Uh, oh, one thing before I actually remove it, you want to keep note. Um, notice how these two wires are here. Well, this one's already free. That was your your uh, airbag wire, and this is going to be able to slide through the hole and stay with the hub. Um, but this one is connected to all the well these buttons not all these buttons there's these buttons so you got to remove this uh, to mine it's this little tab that lifts up right there and then you can I can just wiggle it out like that and now it's loose right so now let's hold the wire there I should be able to just pop it out and there you go there's my steering wheel now one other quick thing this right here is actually a sensor uh, see how this moves but this doesn't it, this has a little notch on it that centers with this now you can turn this uh, degrees but then you're gonna the little car's gonna lose itself so do not do not do not do not move this in any way so I'm gonna put a piece of blue painters tape on that so it doesn't move it, um, not that I'm gonna go, I'm gonna work outside the car because it's too hot outside. I'm gonna work inside the house to get the steering wheel wrapped. Uh, so let's go to the next part. All right, so with the steering wheel out, um, there's still plastic, as you see, there's still the button stuff right here uh, and plastic. I kind of want to take it all off and just leave the bare wheel, um, just like I did with my, my, uh, my Civic. So it's easier for me to just sew around it and then I'll replace the plastic back. Um, so this is the box it comes in. The company's car, New Art. Uh, this one's empty, obviously. I put it on already on my car. Uh, let's put this one aside. Uh, this is the one for this CRE. Uh, here we go. So in the box, you get the artificial leather or genuine leather if you choose to buy that. Uh, you also receive um, tools, all the tools you need to sew it and to tuck it if you're not going to be using the uh, removing the steering wheel and an instruction manual. So you can, you know, follow the steps to do it. They also provide, uh, uh, not a link, but they'll tell you where to go on YouTube because they have YouTube videos of how to do this. And in the YouTube videos, curious enough, they actually have the steering wheels off the car, uh, but with the plastics on. And again, it's up to however you want to tackle the, this project. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the screws and remove the plastic off this uh, steering wheel. So it's just a bunch of like Phillips screw heads everywhere. Uh, remember where everything goes, I guess that goes without saying. If you can take something off, put it back where it originally went. <laughs> I guess. All right, that was the last piece of plastic that I removed. So all we're left with is the steering wheel, which is just metal and this rubber that gets molded onto it. Uh, so now let's wrap it. All right, so the art, this piece of leather, artificial leather, is labeled inside to let you know what's the front side and which is the back. To me, it's pretty obvious by looking at the shape of the wheel. I can see how maybe some wheels are a bit more uh, hard to see. Uh, the next step would be just to put the wrap on top of it. 
Again, they provide double-sided tape. You don't necessarily need it. I, get, I did my car without it. Uh, you'll see them do it on their own videos on YouTube without it. I guess that it's there in case you have like a weird turn or I could have used it in a spot of my Civic where like it took, it took a move and it was moving a lot while I was sewing. But I managed to make it work either way. Um, no prep work, there's no adhesive or anything. One day you get bored and want to take this thing off, you just cut the, cut the stitching and just remove it and replace it. Uh, so yeah, let's put it on so you guys can kind of see what this thing looks like when it's on. So it looks kind of like this. You can already see how well it starts fitting around. Um, now the next thing I'm going to do is obviously it has flaps because it's going to follow the shape of the car, right? So uh, I'm going to now go to the part where I am kind of like rotating it uh, or trying to align it better. So I noticed that I have to like move it in this direction. So what I'll do is you can take like one finger and just like kind of just go in circle in the direction you want to move it and it'll kind of just rotate the whole leather. Just a little bit though. Little by little. So you get it to like that spot where you want it. This is important. You don't want to start uh, sewing and the steering wheel is off. Good thing is like while it'd be nice to have like a single piece of leather, I can see why they divided it in multiple pieces. Um, so obviously there's two big stitchings off the side. If you can like center off of that, you'll kind of be, it'll kind of leave you off. So now I got to move a little bit this way. Yeah. I think that's it. That's where I'm going. And that's perfectly centered there. So, uh, perfect. So with that, with the uh, wrap place, you get to open your little baggie of stuff. I see the little tool to tuck in the things. You have your double-sided tape should you need it. Uh, and then they provide you with more than enough string. So in case you mess up or you screw up and you want to uh, cut, the, uh, cut the thread and re-thread it, uh, you have it. That being said, again, refer to the YouTube video. Uh, or the instructions I'll let you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and start, uh, you know, sewing this. Okay, here's the final product. Well, not final. I put on all the buttons. Hopefully, the light can do it justice, but it looks. There's limits. A um, couple of areas of issue. Obviously, always these edges that like curve into the wheel are hard. So they don't look gonna look the best not as the rest of my stitching that looks amazing see it there uh get a bit of a bulge here but this is what i will be seeing and it looks great can't wait to install it it's gonna have to be tomorrow though because it's super late because i took a break <clears throat> okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and reconnect the steering wheel um just remember to remove first the because I don't want to move this. Pass the cable for the airbag. Same hole it came from. Alright, so the battery is connected and uh this is the final product. Check it out.
obviously if you're gonna it's gonna be as good as you can get it uh there is some imperfections like you can see it kind of bump okay, focus on that it kind of bulges right here but that's okay um this side looks way better a little bulge still here you can just kind of all right guys that was me wrapping the steering wheel of my crv and my civic with some artificial leather that i got on amazon if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. Always happy to answer any questions in the comment section. I'm at 95 subscribers, super, super, super close to getting to 100. So share the video if you like what you see, There's uh, or any other video in my channel. Uh, I got a little bit of something for everybody. So yeah, guys, let's see if we get to 100 subscribers. This was Ashley, The Weekend Hero. I'll catch you in the next one.